Hi, I'm Ellie Finch. I'm a children, parent and family counsellor and I play video games with my clients as I found it to be a wonderful way to engage people in counselling. One of my favourite games to play with clients is Minecraft. I'm also a parent myself and my family often play Minecraft together. We play Minecraft education as a family as we love the way you can create a closed network just for your family and friends and the free subject specific lesson worlds that are included in Minecraft education of Fab 2. As a therapist I particularly love the social, social and emotional learning worlds but there's a huge range on history, science, English, maths and so on. Lots of parents and professionals I work with don't realise that they can access Minecraft education. It did indeed used to only be accessible to educators or people working within an educational institution, but this changed in 2021 when they introduced the camps, clubs and organisations route to buying Minecraft education licences. And now you can purchase Minecraft education as an organisation, an individual or a homeschooler. The other editions of Minecraft are called Java and Bedrock, and they are both now connected to the Xbox network, which is, set, which is essentially a social network where people can follow each other and invite each other to get Games, which is great in many ways but a little bit unnerving if you have young children or are working with children who haven't been exposed to online gaming or social media yet. This is why I recommend taking a look at what Minecraft education has to offer. Minecraft education is trusted by educators, ac educators across the world and it is used in schools as an engaging educational tool. There's also some great digital citizenship worlds in Minecraft education which educate about online privacy and safety and this offers a great way into supporting children to be safe playing online online video games. I prefer to use Minecraft education in my work as a counsellor for these reasons and Minecraft education published a blog about my work on their website and you can access this using the link below this video. So I've made this free guide which shows you how you can set yourself up on Minecraft education, set up a closed network of users and make sure you have the security settings you need in place. I'm going to give you helpful tips to ensure you don't fall into some of the pitfalls I did when I started out using Minecraft education. Trust me you do not want to get locked out of your admin account. To support people with different learning styles, in this guide I use instruction videos and written documents to explain things. You'll also find out about, out about some next steps you can take on your journey to playing Minecraft. I have created a course for therapists on how to use Minecraft as a therapeutic tool, which you can access using the links below. And I'm developing a course for parents and carers on playing Minecraft with your children. Please do sign up to my mailing list using the link below to keep up to date with my latest trainings and publications. Feel free to share this guide with other people who might be interested. I want this guide to be as clear and helpful as possible so if you have any questions or feedback please do get in touch using the contact info below this video. Follow the steps in this guide and you'll soon be playing Minecraft education. Happy Minecrafting!